all that seasoning and it still tastes like shit. What's up guys? It's the man, the myth, the virgin here. I know you clicked on this video to see my workout routine, how I lost 30 pounds in four months. This is the workout routine. What, lifting the food to your face? Yes, because let me tell you something. There's a saying out there that goes, you can't outwork a bad diet. You can. You can walk up and down Mount Everest 10 times, or you can lift up the whole globe for five reps. It don't matter. If after the workout, you go to the McDonald's and you end up eating more calories than you just burnt. Sad to say you're not losing weight. So before I get into the exercises, let's make that clear. It don't work if your diet don't work. Now I get that most of you are beginners. I get that most of you might not even have a gym membership. To lose 30 pounds or whatever you wanna lose, you don't even need one. You might be intimidated cause there's Chads and Tyrones up in the gym. Lifting three weights on the barbell, gripping the baddies booties, oh no. So you might be a little bit intimidated to go. It's okay, man, you can do it right at home. This right here is literally all you need. How much is a bench on Amazon? What, like 60, 70 dollars? You can change the angle. Adjustable dumbbells, this'll run you like a hundred bucks. If you want 50 pounds for each one, that's $160, $170. The gyms around me monthly is 60 bucks. So for less than three months of membership, you got yourself a whole gym. Hmm? The workout routine that I mentioned in my last video that I showed you, it is not mine. I did not come up with it. It came from this guy called Midas Movement. And all the workouts I did that you see me doing in these past videos, they come from his videos. I do a push pull leg split, which means that push is basically working out your chest, triceps, and shoulders. Pull is for your biceps, your back. Legs, obviously, squats, deadlifts, boo, 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 boo. And you can see all the exercises that I put in my notion on this side of the screen. And, and, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic. With these home weights, it's eventually gonna get kind of light. So you have to increase the reps over time if you want your muscles to keep growing. Just do it until you're close to failure or at failure. I think a big misconception that people have about losing weight is that you have to do so much cardio. Like I said, you just have to eat less than what you burn. All you have to do is walk uphill for 15 minutes, like I'm doing right here, at a decent speed. It's much easier to burn fat this way because you're walking uphill, so it's more of a challenge, and you're not running, but your heart rate is still going up. And it's light work, but it still burns a lot of calories. Whew, I did this earlier today. God, why am I doing it again? You don't need a treadmill. You could just find your nearest hill and walk up it. Walk down it, walk up it, walk down it, 15 minutes. That's it, that's how you lose fat, that's how you lose weight. People think it's such a mysterious thing of how people lose weight, or it's something that takes a lot, a lot of work. The biggest muscle that you have to exercise is your brain. I don't even know if the brain's a muscle. The hardest part of losing weight and keeping the weight off is just changing your mentality. Like once you get skinny, you can't go back to eating these fast food, hamburgers, ice cream, french fries again. No, you literally have to stick to eating vegetables, non-fatty meats. And the sad thing is that most people aren't willing to make that sacrifice. I'm in my early 20s, so a lot of people my age who used to know me, they're making fun of me for getting fat now. But trust me, in five years, they're gonna end up looking like me four months ago because they didn't change their lifestyles. They were just drinking, partying, eating the wrong shit. And now they have to go into their thirties with a lower metabolism, not having any idea of how to keep up an exercise routine. They're just gonna suffer, develop chronic illness because they don't know how to stay healthy. I, I'm obese right now. In fact, I used to be so obese. Obese class two? What does that mean? What does that mean? That if I kept being that weight, it would cause a lot of problems for me in the future. So what I'm doing right now, it's gonna set me up for the rest of my life. So yeah, I'm not gonna go lift weights and dance around like a circus clown this whole video. You can already see the results. Like it's not, like come on, just stop, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing. And okay, I, I'm still, I'm still kinda, I'm still kinda chunky. Right? But that's gonna fall off. Like I said, this shit starts in the kitchen. This shit starts in the kitchen, bro. What are you eating? How much of it are you eating? And will it help you reach your fitness goals? Now you're gonna be wondering, oh, how many calories should I eat? Uh, what, what food should I eat? That's gonna be coming soon when I figure out my own diet, but right now, I'm doing pretty okay. I don't cheat on my women. I never cheated on my tests in school. The one thing that I'm gonna cheat on 
is my diet. <laughs> this is the only video you need to watch if you wanna lose weight and get jacked. You could look at 20 other videos of people doing science-based workouts or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, do the exercise this week. Just look at the videos I linked in the description, follow the workouts, follow that guy's movements, and uh, I think you'll be good. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.